It started with an idea to make STEM accessible to girls. So I started something called the Make Her Program, a series of mother-daughter STEM exploration workshops. We wanted to not fall this way, right? Tonight, the girls are building a structure that would withstand an earthquake in California. So the girls are building their structures, and then they're going to put them on an earthquake shake table. And we're going to see what structures stand, which ones fall down, and then go back and iterate, try again, rebuild it. If it fell down, why did it fall down, and how can you make it stand up? So you guys see how when I shake the table, the liquid goes everywhere? If I put these rollers on, the rollers can move with the table. You guys see how the, the liquid in the jar is just staying still, basically? The girls are between 8 and 12 years old. When you go back to the research, girls begin to lose their confidence and their interest in science, technology, engineering, and math as they approach middle school. So we thought, let's catch those girls early, and then let's involve their moms so that once they leave the library, the moms can function as mentors at home, and they understand what the girls are doing. They also can be excited and engaged in it. Like with the bigger foundation, almost be more stable. Yes. The maker approach to learning is pretty magical. An attitude that failure is okay. You're gonna get in there, you're gonna try, you're gonna iterate, you're gonna change things up, and then you're gonna try again. So building resiliency in these girls and also some tolerance for failure. So we've covered everything from paper circuitry to engineering challenges, egg drops. We've made light up Harry Potter wands. So these have been very, very popular programs. So, uh, as you see, there's a garden on top. The food market is green grocer and growers. Ready and go, take! I'm always looking to see how do we grow and improve the program and how do we make it really relevant to the girls, to the moms. How do we reach people we're not reaching yet? In libraries, you have every chance to keep learning and to be curious and to be excited and to scan your environment all the time and figure out what's new, how does it serve people, which I think just sums up what librarians are here to do.